Hi, I'm Mike. Today we get to play with some big boy power tools and kick up a little dust on our Wyoming life. Hi there and welcome back. Thanks for joining me once again as we continue on with 30 days with 30 vlogs right here on Our Wyoming Life. Uh, an adventure that we decided to start uh, once we started seeing a lot of states going into um, the, uh, the the lockdown or, or whatever, stay home, Cape home, whatever it's called. Uh, Wyoming is actually not part of that group yet. I've heard that our governor is catching a little bit of crap over that, but uh, we still are not under the stay home orders. Uh, we have uh, pretty... Uh, pretty open travel uh, options and that kind of stuff but uh, he has came out uh, uh, yesterday I think he did a press release our governor did and said that uh, it's time to to maybe uh, lock things down a little bit so we'll see what what comes out of that really what and how it's going to affect the ranches is all to be told we don't really know yet at this point Today though, however, what I would like to do is uh, get a chance to drag you around a little bit this afternoon. I just came back in from checking the cows. That's something that I'll be doing every few hours for the next few months. You're gonna get really, really sick and tired of, uh, of driving around with me and looking at cows. But we are heading into calving. We are officially now two days away from the first due date uh, of any cow on the ranch. Now those due dates were set by me in my first time preg checking, uh, but you know, I mean, I could be close. So we're gonna find out. We also have um, some weather coming in. We have uh, four to six inches of snow on the way in the next couple days. I think our high temperature is right around two degrees uh, on Thursday, which today it's it was 60 today. So I think that was our high that we reached today. Uh, wind is starting to blow outside. It's starting to get a little bit breezy. About 40 miles an hour is how fast the wind is blowing. We call that breezy here in Wyoming. And that pretty much uh, shows that we do have weather on the way. The wind is actually blowing out of the west, so uh, we, we definitely have uh, some weather on the way because normally our winter winds would blow out of the north. So. We have something something coming, don't know what it is, and uh, we're hoping to be able to drag you guys along for the rest of that as we uh, continue with our 30 days of 30 vlogs. So today, uh, since I'm not gonna drag you around and make you check cows unless something happens, and then I'll, I'll come back and grab you or whatever, but uh, we do have a few little housekeeping things that we wanna take care of before the storm gets here. Now, the pigs are gone, they left yesterday, so that's one thing we don't have to worry about. We still have a run, but uh, he's pretty pretty well self-sufficient back there in the barn. Uh, but we do have some stuff over at the gardens that we're gonna to try to take care of before uh, this frost hits, this, nest, this next freeze. And the reason is that uh, we want to clean up one of the high tunnels get it all cut down, get it all kind of tilled in, and um, and then let it freeze so that it kills any bugs or any anything else that might be in there. For that, we're gonna use the BCS and the flail mower in a way that we've never used it before. Uh, usually we use it as a, uh, as a weed cutter or something like that that we can go through and cut tall grass with. Um, today, we're gonna use it as more of a mulching tool as we're gonna put it right down into the ground. We're gonna see how that works and that's coming up in just a little bit. Also, we're gonna go out and uh, see what else we can find and what other trouble we can get into. So since we have to uh, get started with the BCS, we have to go up over here and find it. And the BCS we parked in the fall. You may remember uh, we ran this contraption on it, which is the potato digger. Uh, the infamous potato digger, and uh, that's where it sat after we got done digging potatoes. It hasn't been drug out yet. The only thing that I did to winterize it is I put some fuel stabilizer in it. That's it. So I pulled it in here, put some fuel stabilizer in it, and this is where it sat since, you know, however long ago that was, six months ago or whatever. So uh, and we're going to see if it fires up. We're going to get the potato digger off of it and then uh, get the flail mower on, head over the high tunnels and start working some soil over there. A little dusty.
Okay, so the potato digger is still a thorn in my side. I'm gonna go ahead and get that thing pulled off of there uh, so we can maneuver a little bit better uh, with the BCS. So just give me a second. Okay, so now it's starting to rain. So I'm actually glad we're gonna be working in the high tunnel a little bit and get us out of this, whatever this is. So let's get this done. We'll get the flail more hooked up. I'll show you how it works. And then we'll, uh, we'll get over to the high tunnel. Never mind. don't need gas. Okay, so the flail mower is a front-mounted implement on the BCS, and this is one of the greatest things about the BCS, is that you can actually spin the handlebars on it. If I can remember which one it is, there it is. And run front-mounted implements quick and easy. And this is the flail mower. And maybe once we get over in the high tunnel, I'll, uh, I'll show you how it works. And if you wanna see something crazy, check this out. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. There's a pretty good rainbow going on right over there. All right, get this thing hooked up. Much nicer in here. Okay, so this is the high tunnel we're gonna be taken care of. And what we're gonna do is just roll through here with the flail mower. And basically it should, we should be able to take out all of this that's been growing pretty much over the winter. Including that kale down there. Which deserves to die Anyway, but look at this stuff. You cannot kill it. Like it has been in here all winter long and there's little kales growing or whatever they're called. They're, they're still going. If anybody ever needs to uh, get a bulletproof jacket for a dangerous situation, I say maybe rethink that. Maybe get one of those new fancy kale jackets because apparently you can't kill that crap. It might be bulletproof. All right, let's take a look at this flail mower and see what makes it so special. The flail mower is kind of a cross between a lawn mower and a rototiller. And the reason is, I'm gonna try to get you underneath here and see, is these blades. As they spin, obviously they chew up everything that they come in contact with, including kale. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them all the way, as low as we can with this thing. We're gonna set this thing all the way down and hopefully be able to dig out the roots, the plant, and mulch basically everything all in one pass. At least that's the hope. Um, I really didn't consult the owner's manual to see if this is what this is used for, but hey, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And you know, almost everything in your house or at least in your shop should have more than one use. So I'm hoping that this is something we can use not only for cutting weeds and, and uh, tall brush and stuff like that, but also for this purpose. So we're gonna give her a try. Well, that works. We'll just take all the pressure completely off those wheels. A 
little dusty. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what it did. Obviously, this is what it looked like prior. There's the pass we just made. If only there was somebody who could better explain how and why we're doing this. So the reason that I wanted Mike to, to foil mow today is so that we can start prepping for our summer crops. Um, we grew stuff up until December and then it got too cold and um, it froze. But we also had a minor infestation of aphids, which a lot of them have gone because we've left it open and we've allowed it to freeze, but there's still a few aphids. So the best way now to get rid of them is to remove the vegetation and then um, hopefully it's gonna be really cold in the next couple of days. And hopefully that will take care of a majority of the aphids and so that we don't have to use any chemicals. So we're doing all of this to kill the aphids and to not use any chemicals so that we can put tomatoes in there and not have aphids on our tomatoes. Can you help me, Creole? I got a little girl waiting on me and I want to trade her right. He said, I got what you need, son, as we step down in the cellar. He reached through the cobweb as he turned on the light. He said, there might be a little dust on the bottom, but don't let it fool you about what's inside. There might be a little dust on one of those things that gets sweeter with time You were sitting in the porch swing as I pulled up the driveway My old heart was racing as you climbed inside You stayed over there close as me, drove down to the lake floor Watched the sun fade in that big red sky I reached under the front seat and said, now here's something special just been waiting for a night like tonight oh, There might be a little dust on the bottom But don't let it fool you about what's inside There might be a little dust on the bottom But it's one of those things that gets sweeter with time Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure that we get this. I'm gonna show you a magic trick. How do you make kale disappear? You're still with me. We've made some memories. After all these years, there's one thing I find. Some say good love. Well, it's like a fine wine. It keeps getting better. Let's go by There might be a little dust on the bottom But don't let it fool you about what's inside There might be a little dust on the bottom But it's one of those things that gets sweeter with time There might be a little dust on the bottom I'll run over you again. There might be a little dust on the bottom. But it's one of those things that gets sweeter with time. Don't let it do you. I'm telling you, bulletproof. <clears throat> All right, I know I said we'd go find something else to do when I was done with this, but really I just need a shower and nobody really wants to see that. So we're going to call things good for today. Uh, thanks for continuing along with us. 30 days of 30 vlogs. Be sure you subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We have some very cool stuff coming up in the next couple weeks, including, and if see if you're with me on this, a 24 hour long live stream that takes place 
right in the heart of calving and you get a chance to come along with me for that. The BCS tractor, two wheel tractor system, we're very proud to be uh, sponsored and uh, partnered by, with and by BCS. And uh, these guys are great. If you are in the market for any type of two-wheel tractor, rototiller, snowblower, flail mower, uh, anything that you can put onto this thing, check them out online. It's BCS America. You can find it just by Googling it. And uh, we'll put the link down in the description as well. So thank you very much, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us once again. We'll see you tomorrow for another vlog in the 30 days of 30 vlogs right here on Our Wyoming Life. Shower time. <laughs>